Max Sterling. Welcome to Larpgasm. So a lot of us are out here wandering around the waste, but we don't always have enough pockets, enough bags to carry stuff. Well, I'm going to show you how to make a really easy bag that anyone can make, no sewing involved. All you need is a t-shirt and a pair of scissors, and you're good to go. Let's go ahead and get started. So, t-shirts, not too hard to find in the waste. Lots of bodies have them on them. You can still find them in some stores. But shirt is something you should be able to find anywhere. Now, I happen to get this shirt <clears throat> in some sort of weird prison where there were a bunch of little boxes with people's heads uh, tied to these machines with wires. And uh, it looked like they were in some sort of, you know, forced servitude. But I found this shirt there. So what we're going to do is take this and make it into a carrying bag so I can loot some stuff. So first things first. Decide if the logo is something you want on the outside or not. If you want the logo on the outside, then start with the shirt inside out. If you want this logo trash to be on the inside, then just start with it like this. Now the first thing we're gonna do is just make a, uh, a muscle t-shirt. Pretty much if you've seen my tutorial on how to make a cheap, easy tunic, that's where we start. We're gonna cut the sleeves off. Let me get a pair of scissors. <clears throat> Now, we're going to cut right along that seam. Now, don't cut over it if you can avoid it, but just cut right along it because we want to leave as much of the structure of the shirt intact as we can. Now, you can just fold over and cut it once if you're in a hurry. If you have a couple minutes, you can make it real nice. Or you can just do like I'm doing. The messier it looks, the more genre it is. You know, depending on what your genre post-apocalypse looks like. They don't all look the same. Now, depending on the logo that's on the shirt, if it's something really cool, it might fit your character, or if you have a shirt in mind, or if you go buy a shirt that fits some sort of motif for your character, that's great. You could also spray paint a design on it if you're going to keep it a bag. You know, it's entirely up to you if you play something like a... Uh, like a TV at Dystopia Rising. Um, you could maybe get something that makes sense to go along with that and use a t-shirt uh, from pop culture. It should be pretty easy if that's the look you're going for, but if not, any old t-shirt will do. Keep in mind that when you do genre stuff on it, lighter colors are gonna be easier to work with uh, than darker. If you wear all black because you're some sort of post-apocalyptic edgelord, then this black will be just fine. You probably noticed, well, maybe not, but I certainly wasn't cutting in a straight line. I left that very frayed and frazzled. Now, you didn't lose your shirt at this point in time. You can still wear this. And that's also a cool part about this bag is that you can wear it. So, you can basically start here and uh, have something that turns into a bag, which I think adds an element to the game that you're playing. So keep that in mind. Now the next step is basically, once again, the same steps we took when we were making my tunic, and I'll include a link to that video as well. So what we're gonna do is we're going to widen the neck up a little bit. Now, you can measure this out or do whatever you want. What I'm gonna do is basically just take where the neck on this shirt is, and I'm going to just move down about an inch and a half and just cut the whole way around. So find your seams up top, if your shirt has seams up top. If it doesn't, you'll have to imagine where those would be. And then we're going to take and just cut and there you have it. So. You still have a functioning t-shirt, right? So you could put this on if you wanted to and wear it. Now where the bag part comes in, what we're going to do is take the bottom of the shirt and just fold it over a couple times. Or you can scrunch it up however you want to do it. Just like that. And what you can do is you could take one of these sleeves or you could take the neck and what we're gonna do is just 
fold this thing over in on itself a whole bunch of times like if you were using a gum band that's where I'm from or a rubber band and make yourself a knot in the bottom from there all you gotta do is turn this thing inside out now remember like I said when you started if you left the logo on the inside to start or because you wanted to keep the logo then now your logo will be back outside if you want the logo hidden inside well now it's inside and just like that now you have a bag to carry stuff in so let's go ahead and throw some stuff in here some medicine this flashlight those scissors seem to come in handy let's take those um, you know pretty much whatever will fit in this bag now that armhole on there is long enough that you could still carry it like this under arm if you wanted to you can carry it in your hand you can hang it on a belt whatever you want to do so it gives you a lot of options and uh, that bottom won't come out as long as you you know go over a couple times now a couple of other ways you can secure that bottom let me show you here real quick now if you didn't want to use just the t-shirt there which you definitely can and then if you want to return this to a t-shirt you can wear you just undo this put it back on okay you can walk around wearing your bag basically but if you didn't want to do this or you're afraid that that won't last you could also take some twine or string you take an old uh, power charger cord or you can take a zip tie and zip tie this and if you're using them like a zip tie then you can move much further down and give yourself more space in the bag uh, you could also use basically anything you could use a metal hose clamp uh, and just screw this down and turn it inside out whatever you want to do basically I think probably if you want to keep it secure and you're not that worried about genre a zip tie would be fantastic it still fits the bill it may still be genre uh, I think a hose clamp would be far superior if you're not planning on returning this back to wearing that quickly if it's something you just need in a pinch this will do it uh, the other option is you can also do it like a no sew blanket so what you would do there is take the bottom of your shirt and you're going to cut a bunch of strips every say like inch inch and a half a bunch of strips through both pieces and then you'll take and twist one over the other and tie it move to the next one wrap it around and tie it move to the next one wrap around tie it. if you've never made a no sew blanket you might have to check online for exactly how to tie those but it's very simple to do it's gonna take probably about five additional minutes compared to what we just made but if you do it that way that's basically a permanent bag then but when you turn inside out it's going to be more square on the bottom instead of tapering down uh, and look more like a purse you may prefer that look that's entirely up to you but you can do the no sew thing but what i'm talking is you've just been through the shit you need something to carry all the loot out of there all your pockets are already filled with survival gear your packs already filled with your gear you have no other option but there's a t-shirt laying there or you have a couple t-shirts on pull one of them off take it down I mean if you're a beast you can just rip these sleeves off probably the neck maybe you can bite it to start it and just rip the neck off but if you have scissors or a knife or anything sharp then you can cut the sleeves off cut the neck off turn this thing inside out and even if for some reason you didn't have access to the scraps that you just left which I don't know why you wouldn't you can just tie this thing in a knot too and then turn it inside out and you're good to go.
Pro tip, the size of the shirt does matter. If you use a baby shirt or a toddler size shirt, the bag's gonna be smaller, so you can use it as a holster or just a hanger on your belt or something small. A double X or triple X shirt, you're gonna have a lot more space to carry a lot more loot. As far as the shirt itself, if you know how to ranger roll a shirt, you can do that. Uh, if you don't, you can look up how to do that online, but basically you're going to roll this shirt down very, very small, as small as you can get it. So that it's very compact and tight, and then you'll be able to carry it much easier and pack it in your stuff. And then when you get to where you need and you need a bag, poof, okay? Very simple to do, very easy stuff. I personally prefer having this pre-made just like this and wearing it under your outfit as part of your costume or having something sharp on you so when you get to your destination and you need to carry a bunch of stuff, you can just strip off some layers, rip this shirt off, get out scissors or a knife, hack the sleeves, hack the neck, turn it inside out, tie a knot in it or whatever, and boom, you have a bag. I think that the players and the storytellers there would just be amazed at your actual post-apocalyptic survival skills. And if the shirt's already genred up because it's part of your costume, even better. When it's all said and done, you can just return it right back to part of your costume. So I hope you enjoy this idea. I hope some of you take advantage of it. If you do, be sure to send me a picture, let me know that you did it. Uh, give me on social media, email me, whatever. I'd love to see what your take on this was. And uh, of course, we need to genre this up a little bit, and if it's black, the easiest way to genre that's bleach, maybe spray paint a little bit. You can also always take and just fold over, fold over small sections on the inside and just sew them. So you don't actually have to rip it in order to sew it. You can just make folds in it and then just sew those folds so it looks like it was damaged. That way there's no actual holes in your bag or your shirt. And uh, go from there. So. There's your easy, no-sew post-apocalyptic bag. I mean, sewing if you want to, uh, to genre it up, but the only thing you need to make this is scissors, and I hope that you uh, give it a try. So if you like this build, please subscribe to my channel. Please click like, and more importantly, let everyone that you know know that I'm out here making these awesome videos. I'm giving you guys these cheap, easy projects that you can do to really elevate your character's kit and make yourself look that much better at the games that you go to. Also, stuff like this, I think, just really adds to the whole immersion of the game if you have stuff like this and uh, just really make the game better for everyone. So, please, like I said, like, subscribe, comment, and of course, as always, adventure on. Uber pro tip. I probably just showed you the easiest, coolest way to make a bag for your post-apocalyptic game. It's very simple to do, you can genre it up and it'll look great, plus it's still functional. However, I'm willing to bet some of you out there said to yourself, oh my gosh, that was so hard, how could I ever do that? Well, if you found yourself saying that, boy do I have something to show you. Check this out. Boom. Do you own a shirt like this? An A shirt, an undershirt, a tank top, whatever you want to call it. Well, guess what? Look at that. All the work's already done for you. All you got to do is take it off, flip it over. If you have a hair tie in your ponytail, look at this. If you don't have a ponytail, find someone that does. Use a piece of shoelace, a piece of string. Turn that inside out, and there's your bag. I'm not entirely sure how much easier I could make that for you, other than to tell you to just make this ahead of time and have it in your pocket. But if you're really that lazy that you don't want to cut a shirt, or if you don't have a shirt you want to cut up, I guess, right there. Get yourself one of these shirts, something to secure it with on the bottom and you are all set. I personally prefer the uh, t-shirt idea rather than this. However, this will definitely get you by in a pinch.